We got books and shit like we are now. This is the average black citizen out in California was conscious. There was all talk about him, all of the talking shit about the government, the women and the damn men. Your sister was in the beauty parlor talking shit about the white man and all of them out in California was conscious. Now how in the hell can you be conscious in 1973 and all the parents be conscious and then in 1983 they got motherfucking straight pandemonium. First of all, they came in and cloned everybody. Real deal shit. But number two, even the remnant. But what happened was also, the, also what happened was the people say, oh, the children will get out of this. So you'll pass the shit off in the church. So I was up in Hasburg, and I'm telling the people of science, and they already done transferred the shit from their fucking ass, which the science is being applied to, to you, to some mythical figure called a child who might not even make it. That's right. <laughs> and anybody know, and I don't care what nobody say, it's no mythology about a child grow up and find out things on their own listen. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Everybody in here is, a, is nothing but their goddamn mama mm -hmm. and daddy. Yeah, right. Every value that you ever had is something your damn parents taught you. I got a damn home, a, a, a good friend I had that went to college with me. He don't eat fish. Don't eat no seafood. Why? Because his mom and daddy didn't eat seafood, so nobody in the damn family eats seafood. He come around some fish, he damn near throw up and die. All because his parents didn't eat it. You are your parents. So if you don't know shit, if you say, I'm going to forget this shit, I'm not even going to deal with it the child, the child ain't going to know shit either. You understand what's coming down here? So what's happening is we're trying to transfer some stuff off to some people in the damn future, which they can't truly get, not unless they are very advanced people. They can't even could perceive things up until the, the late 20s in the first damn place. Too much fucked up shit and the peer pressure things going down. And too, the young, the mind too young. So we're talking about an illusion. And this is how we keep in the cycle and stuff like this for looking to the children. If you was to raise up, the child can't do nothing but raise up because the child follow what the damn parents do. Apple don't fall far from the tree. From the damn tree. But now we're looking for the future, looking for the death. So the government keeps telling you, look, it's about new reform bills. The government budget, and we can end this damn shit. Like the damn government don't know whether they broke or not or whatever kind of shit. Um, oh, they're trying to balance the budget. And you caught up in this conservative shit, and you don't know it's a science to keep you looking to the future so they can genocide your ass out right now. That's, that's right. the science behind this shit. Y'all getting this? Yeah. 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 That's what's happening at this particular time. Yeah. So now, there's a movie coming out. There's two movies. Now you got this guy named Ethan Hawke. You got two movies coming out. You can't the movie you want to see is the movie on genetic engineering. He got a love story out, too. So don't go to the wrong movie. I can't think of it. It's some kind of gene something. That it, it, the gene thing is in the name. Anyway, it's talking about this, it's talking about how they can do with any kind of cell in your body, but yet uh, you lose a hundred and something cells. A hundred and something cells, huh? Gattaca. That's it, Gattaca. No, where you lose a hundred and something cells every day. Huh? Five hundred cells each day. Five hundred billion. Seven hundred billion or something? Yeah. I know you just... But yet, they don't need but one of them motherfuckers to do all kind of crazy shit. Which goes into the genetic cloning thing, which we got to get into. Now, let me go into the history of this thing for you so you can understand some things. Let's go into the history of this. What happened was is this. Each time you tap into a new area and you do research on that area, you find out that it's more advanced than what it is because what little bit that we first tap into, we don't realize that we own, we're not getting current events, first of all. 
You know what I'm saying? And this government has been advanced for a long time. So therefore, if they develop cloning in the 1940s, <coughs> in the 1940s, then that means that it just didn't take them this, this uh, damn near 50 years to get it right. They developed it in the 1940s. They started using it in the 1940s. So somewhere around the 1970s, they got it right. Or let's put it this way. They were ready to use it as a genetic Man. weapon. Now, I want you to think for a minute. We have to brainstorm to try to get the picture window of what's going on here. Imagine... You being awake in the 60s. The cracker see you rising up. He see his child getting away from him with the hippie shit. He say, let's be quiet. Go and shut down. Let's go and shut down. Let's be quiet. Give him a little bit of subsidies. Give him a little bit to make him go to sleep. Make him think that they're free. And when we come back out, we're going to be so advanced, we will be almost like 100 years, and they'll still be talking about the 1960s. You got to, you let down your guards, and you got to go result. You have to go and result into something that didn't work in the 1960s because you didn't build upon it. You stop your damn evolution of revolution, and the cracker went into another advanced phase. Yet, He's almost into the year 3000, and you still back in the 1960s trying to pull together some revolutionary tactics, which now has become the model in which the government wants you to follow now. Mm -hmm. The fucking Black Panthers, a bunch of goddamn idiots. Mm -hmm. Which was a failed shit from the get-go, based on damn ego. Okay, it did its particular, it did its particular thing at that particular time, but we're talking about has no place now, you know, couldn't go up against the L.A. police force then. Not then. <laughs> you see, but that's what all, they got all the young people that don't know what time it is, they, they killed the damn Panthers off. That's right. Knock like, off. knocking off that. Yep. But now they got all the rap motherfuckers who was, too, was babies in the goddamn 80s, not babies in the 70s. Shit, if you was 10 in 1985, you got them 22 now. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So my point is, this pamper thing, you going in that the government very advanced. Now let's get into this. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is this based on the picture window that I want you to see. And when you see the picture mem member, now remember now you get the Gospel of Thomas in the Gnostic scripture. And it says, when information that you accept as truth, you might still be going to some area, like black people can retreat into some area and deny shit. Like one sister, I told her all about how they was cloning and how they was killing people and how they was emptied out the projects and all. And she couldn't deal with it. By the next day, she said, well, maybe that's not what's happening. Maybe the white man just wants us to believe that. I said, he counting on a stupid ass motherfucker like you. Because that's a damn nigga for you. Always scared and fear always overcomes some shit like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But it's all good, let me tell you. So, going back into this picture window, if it's a horror, that's good. Because the Gospel of Thomas says, when things Come to the point where you are troubled. Be glad because you know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. Now the only people that can truly be troubled at this particular time is not even the conscious people, the ones that's out here that have a black awareness, that just see their people in the street not acting up to standards as they used to. But we're talking about the ones that have gone into this particular advanced learning. So we're talking about actually horrors that the actual country don't even know. We're talking about something
something behind what appears to be. You understand where I'm coming from? So now, dealing with this particular science, let's say this. Imagine this. I introduced the movie, The Dark Crystal. Now on that movie, two things happened. Well, one thing happened that was very key. A lot of things happened, and one thing happened was very key. The same thing happened there, happened on Star Wars. Now, both movies, Star Wars produced by George Lucas. George Lucas was a confidant of Jim Henson, who did Dark, Dark Crystal. Crystal. Jim Henson and Frank Oz did Dark Crystal. Frank Oz was the person that put Yoda together. Yeah, right. yeah. And the voice behind Yoda and the one that created the puppet and all of that. Yeah. Because Jim Henson couldn't do it because he was working on the Muppet caper and the Dark Crystal at the time, two movies, so he couldn't come over and help George Lucas out. So George, so Jim Henson sent Frank Oz to go over and help out with the Yoda thing. Anyway, between that and Steven Spielberg, which is all a part of this shit, and the movie industry is nothing but an a, 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 a advanced mythological arm of the Illuminati. That's right. Went over and helped out in both of these movies, Star Wars, which started in 87, 77. Yeah, 77. And Dark Christmas came out. Two things that happened in this particular movie that was very key. Now, let me explain this. Let me go into the history before I, I jump ahead of myself. There was a certain energy that when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was on the planet, carried, that the government say, look, they tried to kill him with the congressional, they had another, uh, they had a party in there, who was a, a, a maid at the party, they said, what y'all partying about? They said, we killed the messenger, they tried to poison him in the hospital in somewhere in the late 60s, and it didn't work. So basically, they just fucked the organization up from around him. They said, we're waiting on him to die, and once he dies, this shit is over, because we can't have this to happen again. We got no Drew Ali ass. We got Marcus Garvey. Both of them was in and out so quick. So the one that got through and built the real empire was the was Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Despite what people want to think. So they said after him, they said we got to move on black people totally. So in 1975, George Lucas, which is a part of the Illuminati. Now, the reason why this ain't no bullshit I'm talking about here, this is the real deal shit. I already got it on the damn tape, documented. I documented it on the tape in two lectures the last two months, and then I got a goddamn book. Third, to verify the same damn shit I documented. I said, there you go, that's the spirit working. When you can document stuff on the phone. I said that George Lucas and these boys are all a part of the America, it's part of the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. And I documented it. Let me give you the documentation. George Lucas approached Steven Spielberg and said, Well, look, I'm getting ready to put this shit together, Star Wars, in 1975. He had already written the, written the screenplay in 1975. He had been working on the screenplay. All of them through the early 70s, getting it right. Because he was collaborating with the doggone Illuminati. So, all, and so, 75, 70, 75, he got it all together. He went and got this guy, John Williams, for the, for the, for the, movie, for the, for the, for the, for the movie score because Steven Spielberg hooked him up with this. 76, he went into filming. 76, he went into filming. The movie came out in the spring of 77 around April or May, which is very key. You know, that's that vernal equinox thing. All kind of cycles come down at that particular time. Now, what I'm getting at is this. The government, at this particular time, said we are getting ready to start a war to kill the black man and the black woman all for good. And what we're doing now in 1997 is we're looking back and recapping because I'm trying to tell you this. That between 1977, 1975, believe it, to 1997, imagine them replacing 
a whole nother goddamn race, and the only motherfuckers left is a few damn people that's a remnant, and that's why you can get it, and the other people around you can't get the shit. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute, now, this is some scary shit. <laughs> Imagine... 98%, I used to say that 98% of the people is dead. Well, act, actually, imagine dead mentally. Imagine 98% of black people dead physically in the United States. But they can replace their losses, so therefore, by them dealing with cloning, They can replace the damn losses, and they can only have a remnant. That was 144,000. We couldn't figure this damn shit out. Which is just a remnant. Don't look at the number. We talk about a remnant. Y'all getting this? Yeah. 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 I mean, listen, look, listen. Yeah. First of all, you got a brain scan here, because see, the only motherfuckers we can talk to at this time is a little bit of conscious people in the United States Mostly on the East Coast. You people scattered in the West. This is some serious shit I'm talking about here. Because I went into a whole damn nexus the last... From the time I left this mother back in... What, when was I here? In June? August. No, when was the last time I was here? July. In July or something. From the time I left here in July up until now, I done went into a whole other damn shit in realization. So, Realization on what's happening, I'm talking about a damn horror. When I every day, okay, I'm at ease around you now because I'm into a little bit of conscious people. But on the other hand, on every day, it's like, it's like being lonely out here with nobody right. to talk mm -hmm. to. Right. I hear the word. <laughs> now, let's get into this because we got to document this shit on film. And since this, we got this for tomorrow night too. Well, man, we got it for tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got to document this on film. You know, to understand this. So this is very, it don't matter about how the crowd up in here. It's a matter of the only people we can talk about doing this type of thing at this particular time is the people that's here and a little bit of other types of people in the country that can even perceive what I'm talking about. But this is the first time that this thing is being said. Because I was not, I was not able to say it as good in Atlanta because of the energy was a certain way. Uh -huh. But I can say it now because I got time. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They got time because in Atlanta now there ain't no conscience now. So when I speak, man, they got mugs out the damn door, down the damn street. Uh -huh. That's how packed the shit be. So, but, but we go. I need to get the realization going on now. Imagine. Now we can say. Now you can say. Well, how can that be? How can that be true? Well, now, let's just go back to religion. If we understand the horrors of revelation, we're just talking about plain old Christianity. We're not going to get elaborate in no Egyptian shit mm -hmm. and all that, which is the advanced stuff, mm -hmm. which, is, which I teach on. We're just talking about this plain old Christianity. Mm -hmm. Even if you go by what the Bible says of revelation, mm -hmm. that the last days is supposed to be something so damn horrible to it can't just be a... The revelation come down when you at the goddamn mall. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's got to be something so hideous, but what's the most hideous part about it? Is the most hideous part about it that the whole mass of the people be aware of it? That wouldn't be hideous at all. Uh -huh. uh, would the, would the most hideous part would be when the mass of the people don't know what's going on with something so horrifying. Uh -huh. You understand where I'm coming from here? Uh -huh. Now let's get back to this particular science on what we're dealing with here. In 1975, because I often said this shit. I kept saying it. I've been saying it since I've been teaching. And I didn't know it was a spiritual channel. My higher spirit was telling me. I said, wait a minute now. I'm looking at all these books. And some of these books were crawling and all this type of stuff was 1919. All this particular information. Some of these books is very old. I'm saying that the crack I knew this was coming. Seen to me. And you might have heard me say this on some of my videos. I said, if he knew this shit was coming, it seemed to me, he wouldn't have started to try to kill black people now. He would have started in the 70s or the 60s or whatever. And I kept saying, I've been saying that for the last five years until I, I finally figured this damn shit out. He did. Mm -hmm. He did. But the most profound thing that ever happened to me was the brother Juju. 
Which when we went on the mounds, the brother on the mounds, the Indian people told me, he said it's gonna be an old, a older guy that's in Atlanta. He ain't been able to tell this shit to nobody, but he wanna tell it to you. And I couldn't put it in my mind. It was a year later that I realized it was talking about him because I had already met him and I thought it was a person that I was supposed to meet. And but I remember uh, that, but he gave me this ring. He's the one that made this ring for me. Now the key was, he said, man, he said the main key is about this cloning shit. That's right. Now, going back to this, because I don't want to get too far into uh, uh, the semantics and change that over, because this is, um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, now, this is what the deal is. After the messenger died in 1975, uh, ascended, or what high you want to have it. They went to George Lucas, and those particular ones were only documenting what the government was going to deal with. Now, in 1977, the movie Star Wars came out. Now, what the fuck is a star? Metaphysically, I told you the last time I came that the word Tim in the serious mystery, remember I said that, means a group of stars or a group of star people, or stardust, which is melody. So Star Wars was talking about melanin wars. Okay? Because what is melanin? Melanin is carbon. Carbon is the basis of what's between all stars. A star is nothing but illuminated carbon. So therefore, if the melanin is in us, is in our brain, then we are the star people. That's right. Right? So Star Wars. Okay, let's go into this. He was documenting the Star Wars thing on what was going to happen to a people. Because he had gotten it first hand and went out and did a goddamn movie on the shit. And they said up until Star Wars, science fiction movies never did as well at the box office. But this movie seemed to just go all crazy okay. and change movie making forever. That's because the government made the shit go crazy. Mm -hmm. They said that they made people, they put extra, they, 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 put, they, can, they can take a movie and say, this movie is the shit and everybody go see it. That's right. Right? Well, can I tell you all this shit here? And I'm, and I'm documenting it's all on the tapes in Atlanta. And God damn it, Thursday, I got a book that talks about the whole damn shit. Bear witness to what I was talking about. Man. Now, let's go into this thing. The verbatim what I was talking about and what the spirit had already told me, and that's how much I'm on this shit. Okay. That's the name of it. The movie The Black Sun. I, the, the book The Black Sun, I'll get into that in one minute. This is what the deal is. Um, having read the book, but I got, I'm talking about, I've been dealing with this thing for, since this summer. Anyway, what happened was is this. In Star Wars, they had the Jedi Warriors. Mm -hmm. Jedi the Jedi Knights. Mm -hmm. All the Jedi Knights were killed yeah. except one. Sorry. Well, they didn't know it because John Bader thought that Obi-Wan Kenobi was dead. Right. He hid out on the island mm -hmm. on, on Tatooine, mm -hmm. waiting because he was waiting for Luke, Luke Skywalker to grow up. Oh, to grow up. <laughs> he was waiting. They separated the sister and the brother, put them in different families because they didn't want Darth Vader to know. When Luke Skywalker grew up, grew up. When he grew up, that's when the second part came down and he went to try to fight the evil empire. Mm -hmm. This is what the deal is. But they killed them all but one. In the movie Dark Crystal, how many people saw the movie Dark Crystal? The Nephilim, which is the Gephlin in the Dark Crystal, which is the Nephilim, which you use in the Bible, which is the black people, the giants, those who came down. They killed them all, and they thought they had killed them all, but Jen, and then Jen found another one, was a little girl, and there was two Gephlim left. And the prophet that said one will come that will overtopple a dollar brought to the evil empire. Same shit went down, because the prophecy was in... Star Wars because they say the Emperor, the Emperor in there is a dollar bra. He said there's a disturbance in the force. The Emperor knew that the only person that could able to defeat him was Luke Skywalker. And this is the point I'm trying to say. How 
How is it that both George Lucas was banking on only one or two people left, which is a remnant, mm -hmm. and Jim Henson banking on only one or two people left? So now, left. <laughs> listen, that's all that's left. Now, I'm going to show you something here. Look at this. Now, you've got to understand sociology. You've got to deal with everything on an advanced level. You gotta go and study the black exploitation period, which I didn't think was exploitation or shit. Was the best movies we ever had. Uh -huh. It started from 1971 with Shaft. That was the first one. They had black movies before Shaft, but we talking about Shaft represented the first movie where a black person represented as a masculine figure. Equal to white man. Yeah. Actually, it was two movies in 1971. Brother John, that we just realized. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, most yeah. people don't even know it's out. We get ready to get into that. And Shaft. And from that, you had Superfly and the rest of the shit. Slaughter, Superfly, TNT, Tangerine Man, a whole bunch of them motherfuckers. Black Shampoo, all the shit. <laughs> the black exploitation films lasted from 1971 1977 when they started dying down. By 79, they had already closed them out almost, and 78 was real weak. So we're talking about six good years, seven maximum. Mm -hmm. The movie Star Wars came out in the height of black exploitation, yet the first movie didn't have a black person in the cast. That's right. That's right. The second movie, they had That's Billy D. Williams. Land, land the third movie, they had a one, one little black girl dancing with, uh, she danced yeah, for, uh, uh, Yola, uh, Yola, uh, Yola. Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, Jabba. And the third movie, they got one black star fighter that got blew up. If you look real close, there's one of the guys in the X-Queen fighter, he got blew up too. But my point is, is this. How is it in the height of the black era where everything was black on TV and more black movies than we have now, they didn't put a black person up in the movie? Uh -huh. It's not because of racism, it's because they were showing a message that the original black person was the Jedi warrior. Because remember he says, I don't want to hear nothing about your ain't that old ancient race and an ancient religion, some old Jedi shit. And what's the name? said, never underestimate the power of the force. Right. right? Now, let's get into this type shit, what's going down. Let me explain something to you. What? was the name of the war, because there was a war that was fought that killed off the Jedi Knights. No. What was the name of the war? This war started from 1975. That's when he wrote the screenplay yeah. up until now. Yeah. The name of the war was the Clone Wars. Oh, the Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Was in 1998, it's gonna come out 1998 or 99, yeah, which is the first, which is yeah. the Clone Wars, yeah, what yeah, actually that's, happened. That's, yeah, that's supposed to be the explain. The name of the wars was the Clone Wars. This is some amazing shit now, I'm telling you. I wish you could feel the way I feel about this shit because I'm telling you. Now I'm sitting here watching this thing. Why would the wars be named the Clone Wars? Mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker tells Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is the guy that fought with his father. He said, you fought in the Clone Wars with my father? Or you fought in the Clone Wars? He said, yes. Yeah. With my father, yeah, because he knew his father was one. He didn't know what his father was. The Clone Wars was a terrible conflict that erupted during the Old Republic. 55 years, or 35 years prior to Star Wars, The New Hope. Let me explain what that is. Star Wars, A New Hope. Now, let me explain this. The New Hope began because the Emperor represented the evil empire that took over the world, black man. Yeah. I mean, the white man, excuse the expression. Oh, which is a dollar brought. And if y'all get me on this, y'all heard me talk about this before. Uh -huh. That's the Emperor. The new hope began when Luke Skywalker grew up. So we got to understand how the government is doing this. Now, on the real Earth, 
The Clone War started in 1975 after the messenger left. The new hope is right now of us rising up to take this shit back because they just released Star Wars in the theaters, the, 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 the uh, special edition in the theaters, and, let, and on the 26th of August, they released it on video, the special edition. So we're talking about a key right now, because in the movie Dune, because now remember, Frank Herbert Dune that I talked about the last time, I told you that Dune's Jihad was supposed to start between 1996 up until the year 2000 or whatever the deal is. So they re-released this thing again, so we're talking about the New Hope when, when Luke Skywalker, you just got to go back and see the movie and understand what I'm talking about. Luke Skywalker rose up to fight against the Clone Wars, uh, the fight against the evil that was done in the Clone Wars is right now. It's the time that it's happened. That's why they re-released it again. That's why the government re-released it again. The point I'm trying to make here is this. Now, to, to summarize what I'm talking about is this. The government, in 1975, which, under Adolf Hitler, in 19, the end of 1945, 1945 was the year that they smuggled Mengele out of Germany into America, and the American government smuggled him out. 1945. From 1945 to 1975, they perfected the cloning shit. Let you get it. Per perfecting means how fast can you clone? That's right. The first one might have took a month. Then it might have took a week. Might have took a year. The first one took a year. Yeah. Then a month. Then a week until they can get that shit down to a day in a matter of hours now. That's right. what, what? After it becomes a matter of hours, after it comes a matter of hours, you can replace your losses in a day. Just dread. Once it gets to the... See, we, see what we're talking about this. We're talking about the ultimate weapon. Let me go back. 1945, we can just spend some time on this because it's very important. 1945. No, excuse me, the 1930s. After studying alchemy and all of the secret societies, they were interested in the eugenics. They said, but we need to get another biological weapon, which is the master race, which is cloning. So they used the Jews to do it. From 1939 to 1945, they perfected it. And then they had to smuggle Joseph Mengele out because he was a chief man who had the technology. So they smug smuggled him out of Germany. Okay? Yeah. Do you know they had a special that came on last Wednesday on Hitler? And they concluded in 1993 that they, they said, because see, the, the first people to find Hitler's body, the stuff they're talking about, Hitler's body was burned up in the ashes and all that shit was by the Germans. Well, when they traced the shit, they traced it down to the grave site where Hitler was supposed to be in, in 1983, 1993, and Hitler ain't in the shit. <laughs> But on the damn documentary, they got a clone of Hitler. They got an actual duplicate of Hitler dead. Just like Juju told me when he first told me about cloning, he said Hitler was the master cloner, and they had, Hitler had several du uh, doubles. They actually showed Hitler's double on the Discovery Channel. That's the government Illuminati shit to get the knowledge to the people. Who want to know what time it is? Mm -hmm. On the Discovery Channel, they showed his clone dead. Same mustache and everything. And when they went to dig up the grave in 93, where they said, well, where are the remains? They couldn't find no remains. And Joseph Mengele, they smuggled him out. They didn't, they, he died in, in 87 or 85 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he gave them the cloning techniques based on the eugenic society, based on George Bush, was a George Bush father, and all of them was a part of that whole shit. Right. Now, from 1945 to 1975, 
They perfected it so they can use it as an ultimate fighting machine where they can duplicate bodies overnight. And they basically kill off a whole race of black Americans. This is some amazing shit. Because we were waiting for the jump. Can you, can you understand what I'm saying? Uh, can you? I'm just saying, can you understand? Because I'm going to tell you something. Be honest. Now, we are black conscious people and we don't love the white man. But be honest. And, I, and we can say this because we ain't in no church and we ain't around no bourgeoisie. It can't be nobody stupid. It can't be a race as stupid as black people are. Not to say that because I've been teaching for five damn years. Black people are about the dumbest motherfuckers you can come across daily. <laughs> stupid. And the only explanation for the way black people are so fucking damn idiotic is it's got to be robots. It bears witness. You understand where I'm coming from here? Yeah. You know the button? It's not the same damn person from the 70s, from the 60s. We have lost our minds. I'm going to show you some observations on what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about here. First of all, let me get into this. One minute. I'll give you some other thing, and then I want to get into this. This is the guide to the Star Wars universe by Bill Slaviskek, Slaviskek, F-L-A-V-I-C-S-E-K. <laughs> now I'm going to show you something. I'm going to turn to sporadic, sporadic cloning cylinders. Sporadic cloning, cloning cylinders are a remnant of a terrible clone war. This was the shit where they made the clones. In these machines, clones were grown to maturity. A full-grown cycle required, required a year's time for anything less than, anything less than that led, led to clone madness. Many of the early clones suffered from this madness, uh, um, uh, uh, mad, suffered, suffered from this clone madness madly, since the process and the technique took many years to develop and perfect. This, now, this is some amazing shit. This is how you can't, if you're fucking around with trying to understand the goddamn beast and how he worked on a conventional way, or oh, I'm just going to read the Quran, or oh, I'm just going to read the goddamn Bible, or oh, I'm just going to read some goddamn D.R. You don't go to the motherfucking comic book store. You don't go to the movies. You got to go. You, this shit has got to be a research like Sherlock Holmes shit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. Now, this shit here is in the science fiction section. This is the guide. This is a 1495, the guide to the Star Wars universe. And in here, and this is what they do. Now, they have perfected it. First, it took a year. Then they got the shit down to a month, then a week, then a day, and then hours. So what they'll do now is this. White people will go in, they suffer from skin cancer. They'll get duplicated in a week's time. They have it, they double ready. Then they can go in and die off, and they, the other double can go on back out. If it's duplicated within a week's time now, because they have perfected it from a year. If it's duplicated from in a week's time, that particular clone can live a complete duplicate of the other the, of the original host life. You get it? It can live a duplicate of the original host life and won't shit happen. But imagine if it's a couple of hours. Then it comes to madness. So what they have done with the black race 
race, if they had started duplicating, they duplicate for a couple of hours. And this is all the crazy shit you see out here. I'm saying this is a, this is some real shit I'm talking about. Now y'all know me, goddammit. You know I ain't bullshitting. I give you all the scholarship you want, and we answer question and answer. I'm telling you, this is some real shit. They said in here, they said based on the Clone Wars at first, for the first couple of years, let's say from 1945 to 1975. From 1945 to 1975, add that 100 years of that. For the first 30 years, from 1945 to 1975, they had a problem, or somewhere in the 30 years, they had to figure out how to clone melanin. Now, in here, they say, at first, they had a problem cloning the Jedi. But after a while, they learned how to clone a motherfucker with force where they could get a mock nuclear eye of the force, which means they could get total surface melanin, total surface melanin, and a form of inner melanin that can produce surface melanin, but it don't have that soul in it. Mm -hmm. So they could get it all the way down to the soul, because the soul ain't nothing but a seed that's a grain of salt. That's how big the soul is. You deal with alchemy. You deal with alchemy and shit. And I'm the master of that shit. Oh, boy, I ain't took my horn, but I'm saying. I'm the master of that shit. I know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to this shit because I'm a humble man and all right. So I, can, I, I, I know what the hell I'm talking about. And the more spiritual I got, the more curse words I started adding to my vocabulary. <laughs> That's mythology. Now, so if any man that act holy, don't get it. It ain't about acting holy. This dimension is a God dimension, and the human behavior is the devil's archetype. So therefore, if you are acting the best of human behavior, you ain't spiritual. Right. Shit ain't got shit to do with behavior. Right. We'll go into that, because people got a problem with that. We'll go into that and try to explain that, basically. But right. we're not talking about mad stuff. <laughs> we're not talking about mad stuff. I'm talking about... The difference between acting like a, a person that seems to be holy and a person that acts innocent, a person that acts unorthodox, or more rough around the edges, but not like an average person out here in the street. You know what I'm talking about. A person that you can feel comfortable in being around. That's what I'm talking about. Now, but what I'm saying here is, Clone keepers. Clone keepers are scientists that are tamed, are responsible for the emperor's clone bats on the planet Bis. So you, 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 don't, don't worry about the planet. All that shit is happening right here on Earth. Uh -huh. But right in, so what I'm trying to say is, is this. In 1975, <coughs> they went into, I saw it. I'm not telling you no goddamn shit. Based on some motherfucking shit that I'm trying to calculate and shit, I saw the shit in my fucking head. I saw the shit this summer. I saw the shit. It started coming. That's how, that's how the spirit works. There's only so much you can go with intellectual shit, but you'll be bound because you gotta, you, you, you'll stay in the confines of what you can damn give to people based on the intellectual shit and what you can prove. But I saw the shit. I saw it. I saw it in my head. I saw the shit. Once I tapped into the shit, it made sense. In the 1970s, up until now, they have been literally killing our people by the masses. Uh -huh. yes. Tell it. Yes. Tell it. Yes. And they have basically killed all the people in the United States that's yes. black, yes. but a remnant. And the African continent is going through that shit now. That's right, that's right, that's right. But I always had to be a little more sophisticated. So they did it through the hospitals. You see what I'm saying? Yep. They do it through jobs. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, the main cloning centers now is the motherfucking church. Tell it. And now the Muslim mosque. Right. Mm -hmm. And the main the main organizations now. 
or your conscious organizations now colleges. and colleges <clears throat> in the AU center they built a cloning center now you know the AU center if anybody ever been down to the AU center that's the, the, the five colleges in Atlanta uh -huh. most people have never went you might think that the colleges up the street from each other no you can walk across the street from Clark to Spelman and walk across the street from Spelman to Mohouse uh -huh. And the only one that's up the street is Morris Brown, but you can walk across the street from Clark, from, from Clark to ITC, which is the, the seminary, the black, um, and then from ITC, you can walk to Morris Brown. They're right there as one. If it was in a white school, it would be one campus. Mm -hmm. Up on the summit of the thing, they got a damn cloning center up in there, and that's where they duplicate the motherfuckers from. Mm -hmm. They're doing it in the churches. In Atlanta, they have came in and cleaned out a whole city through one hospital called Brady Hospital. Brady Memorial. Now up here, it will be some other place. Yeah. Where, where all the niggas go. <laughs> no, no, if you get, no, and I ain't talking about where you selected to go. If your ass get on a damn car wreck on a Saturday night, where your ass gonna end up? Temple. Temple. That's the main cloning center. And what I'm saying is this. First of all, to invent a technology and don't tell you that they have it, which means that they got you already. You still thinking that this is fucking them um, 1950s some shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying, man, that we're in the last day, and this is a horror because it was presented to me, and I saw the shit, and it makes sense now because black people can't be this stupid. They can't be this stupid, and this, and this is what really made me think, no, that our people was insane. Because well, I always to say about the religion shit and all of the stuff about Jesus Christ and all of the stuff about certain America and the government and all this shit, if you never had no knowledge. But we know from, night, from the late 80s to now, we have been bombarded with some of the greatest knowledge that ever hit the planet. Mm -hmm. And yet, some of the black people that's experienced that shit is back in the church and some of them voting. That's right. That's right. And then I said, wait a minute. First of all, they tell you that the only thing on this planet that can free you is knowledge, That's gnosis, right. the divine knowing. Yeah. Now, we have been given the knowledge now, and yet, it's right. still like we're in the 1950s. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Work, because you gave it to the niggas in the 1950s, they would have been witness. I said, these is clones, but then the ultimate thing came. That's right. All you got to do is go back and go into your memory bank. So... I was not, I was born in 1961, same year as the so-called Princess Diana, that bitch, I was born the same year, 1961, 1997, I was born in 61, but I went back to the 1930s, I went back to the 20s, and I started time traveling, plus I started doing some case study, now I want to show you something. Let's just understand basic evolutionary process based on cultural perspective or social perspective. In a culture, I don't give a damn what culture it is, and because we live with white people, therefore we benefit with white people, so therefore if they copy some of the best stuff out of our culture, we should be able to get the backwash of that shit. Right. I want to ask this question. If your parents and your grandparents was a certain mentality and at a certain level, three generations down the goddamn line, that person, three generations down the line, is supposed to be more advanced than the grandparents. Right? Okay. Now let's go back and do this case study. Black people, we're going to take an error. Black people, from the 1930s, the 1940s, and the 1920s. 1920s, 1930s, and 1940s. Now, these people were the grandsons and the great-grandsons of slaves that was mutilated in slavery or the greatest holocaust ever to hit the damn planet. Right? Yet, they produce the culture that wove the suits and the shit better than the white man, the jazz, and an upward mobility. 
of northern migration. They produce the culture. Now, Lou, I want you to hear this. How can a motherfucker produce a culture out of slavery? You just been mutilated months before. You come out of slavery and you produce a goddamn culture. That's bad and grand. Black baseball, black doctors, black lawyers, black this, black that. In 1950, you was a powerhouse. And they had to break that shit up. Black segregated schools that was producing geniuses with less material than the white man. And you produce a powerhouse out of slavery. But yet, these are the grandparents that we're supposed to evolve beyond them. Yet, we borrow it. Squalor now. Something had to happen. I don't give a fuck. Plus, they had less to go on than us. They didn't have TV. They didn't have access to the education. We sitting right beside the white man. They didn't have access to the books. They didn't have access to the dog. We can listen to a cassette. We got, we got more literacy than them, although more of them graduated high school that could read. We got more literacy than them, just on a per capita basis. We, we, you know, we fucked up. But my point is, we even got TV where we can learn shit better than the motherfucker from the 30s. Something had to happen when all cultures were supposed to go advanced, more advanced in the person than your grandmama and them. How can you have nothing in slavery and create a, a, a culture that, 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 that America copies and create the only American classic that they got? You see? That's right. Jazz, That's right. funk, rock and roll, right. blues, right. gospel, and all that shit. Right. And now, here you are, 20 years or 30 years in advanced culture. And yet, we're a motherfucking bunch of damn savages. Right. It can't happen to a culture like the black people. It had to have been cloning. Now go back and do this math on this shit. We started going back down, and the whole Star Wars trilogy is talking about that shit. That's right, it's on Wars. But it also gives the out, because it always gives the out. And so that's where we are now, where Luke Skywalker had to pick up to kill the Emperor, and that's what we're dealing with now. Yeah, you see, you getting this stuff? This is some amazing shit here, but it's real. Because ain't nobody teaching you nothing. You go to the mosque, you ain't getting shit. Being a, I want to ask you something. I want to know. I got. I want to know that it's got to be something sick with any God. They say I got to be obedient to Him any goddamn way when He made me. That don't make no sense. I, not unless this is a subordinate deity. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. Church, this is another thing. How can, a, how can a person, you both come out of slavery, you both pray to the same God, but yet he going to bless some black people, and he ain't going to bless others. And other black people walk around and say, I'm blessed by the Lord, and the reason why you ain't blessed because you don't believe in the Lord. Yet every motherfucker that ever said he was blessed by the Lord was some fucked up motherfucker. You can't hell. Every holy sanctified bastard, was always fucked up. Uh -huh. Them motherfuckers you wouldn't even be around. See what I'm saying? Uh -huh. A lot of them damn, a lot of the people so-called call themselves blessed is fucked up individuals. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Right. Now I want to know what kind of God gonna bless one person don't bless the other one. Mm -hmm. When God knows your heart and every goddamn nigga I know in church is a damn hypocrite. Uh -huh. So obviously something got to be going down here with this whole shit. So my point is this is real shit what we dealing with here tonight. And all. So I'm saying, right here, but I'm saying that the key is, go back, he said the clone wars. Now, in this book, The Black Sun, Montauk, the Nazi and the Tibetan connection by Peter Moon. Oh, that's a new one. This is the new one. This is the, this is the fourth installment. Look, after World War II, subsequent um, um, occupation, Germany allied military commanders was stunned to discover when penetrating the depths of the Nazi regime, the state of secrets. The world best kept intelligent organization was not at least, was, was not the least of these revelations. Also discovered was massive maintenance 
research files on secret societies, eugenics, and scientific pursuits boggled in imagination and of the Allied Command. Even more specific, even more spectacular was the entire web of underground rocket flying saucers, mm -hmm. factories, because you know, you, you, you're flying saucer shit with Area 51 came from the Nazis, mm -hmm. which was your crash in Roswell, was based on the German shit. A company technology that still defies ordinary belief. Technology from these people. Missing U boat boat fleet. Um, possessing the most advanced submarine technology in the world, left many wondering if the Nazis had, had escaped, yet more secrets even with Hitler, or even with Hitler himself escaping. My point is, is this. In here, I said it back in July, the Spirit came and told me that George Lucas and them created the Star Wars shit, and it was going on now. Now, I only got this book an hour before I got on the bus to come speak to your ass, so I ain't getting the shit. <laughs> and we read the shit on the bus, and the only shit it did was validated what I already put in the motherfucking lecture a month ago, six weeks ago. And what I started telling you when I came in the last damn time. In here, they go into Mark Hamill. Which was the person who played Luke Skywalker. And then they say Mark Hamill, 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 remember they had that big flood, was it a flood or the fire? Mark Hamill's house was, was, was that was big ass, the big Malibu fire. Mark Hamill was the only house that didn't burn up. Mark Hamill, they say, did a damn ritual. An Indian ritual from India. Or was it Indian, Native American? Native American. And the shit didn't burn his house up. Because he was bad. Nazi occultists. Man. They got the shit in his, linking his father with the Nazi party and all this type of technology. Then they go into, he wrote the Philadelphia Experiment, the movie in 1984 was produced by damn Mark Hamill. Man. And what? Under a pseudonym. Under a pseudonym as far as you know his name. Yeah. Also, also, um, it was something else by him, um, uh, let me see. Anyway, um, George Lucas, George Lucas also, um, Village of the Damned. Huh? Village of the Damned, he was the preacher. Area. Remember, he was, the, anybody saw the new Village of the Damned? Yeah. Mark Hamill was the preacher, and he was talking about that master race, some Aryan people. All, um, um, very key, uh, very key. And he was the people. Let me see, there's some other stuff here, too. Um, uh, he did something else too, uh, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill was the one that played Luke Skywalker in the movie. In here they go into the whole deal with doggone George Lucas, who wrote Star Wars. Also, he was inspired by uh, Frank Herbert with Doom, because in the movie you get the Doom scene and the Spice Mines in the movie Star Wars. He wrote Star Wars. In here they go into the science on when he wrote Indiana Jones and the, and the Lost Ark, the Ark of the Covenant. Right. Steven Spielberg produced it. The Jews got mad it was Steven Spielberg when he made the Nazis not look like dummies, but was trying to get the art. So they said in here he had to go and produce Schindler's List to get on their good side. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But I'm trying to say, but in here they were saying that the Illuminati and the United States government and all that shit was hooked in on this Star Wars thing. Even though there were Blair Bears witness to it when he said that the whole Star Wars thing was a part of a war in heaven, but that war is the shit is right here, right now. Very right. keeps you yeah, understand that at a particular time. Yeah. Now let's let's go on. Uh let's uh let's see what we got here. Um let's see what we got here. The word mummy comes from the ancient word mumia. And mumia was during the Victorian times in the 1600s to, to the 19, early 1600s to the 1900s. The Europeans went and what they would do is they uh, ate the skin of the ancient mummies and ground it up into a portion. 
-hmm. And it got potion, and, it, and a lot of them got sick off of it. But Mumia was this black substance from the mummies and stuff, and they was eating that as a potion. You see what I'm saying? Which is, they, they talk about this in, in, on the Discovery Channel and a couple other places. But anyway... They still sell it in China. What the, what the mummy stuff? Yeah. And stuff. Because there was thousands of them. Anyway, that was a form of the melatonin too. They could get it out of the body. You see what I'm saying? Till, till, they, could, till they could get it out of the body. Now, United States government is still talking about this freedom of religion shit. They just signed a thing about freedom of religion recently because they're still trying to make like it is it's this humane people. Yeah, the president spoke on it too. Huh? The president spoke yeah. on that. Yeah, he was, he was the one that came out also and, and, and spoke on 